Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Moni the Melon and we are here today to explore the Liquid Guilds smoothie. This will give us some extra time when diving before the timer for the oxygen kicks in. So we should be able to stay on the water longer. So I went over to the blueberry bushes area where there is flooding. And you see me just looking for those water fleas right now. So there's a cluster. So here I am attacking them. You can use either the spear or the shovel. And just as a disclaimer, I am new to this game and I'm also much more of a long range person. I do not do well in close combat or melee attacks. So this is why it's going to look very clumsy. And I just want to say I absolutely love this game. Um, I love the way it looks. It's beautiful. The water is amazing. The water effects. Um, the developers are doing an amazing job just making this absolutely gorgeous. And so here I'm killing another one. And so because I'm more of a long range kind of person, I really love that there is a bow and arrow option in this game, which I would typically use. And I want to show you in another video too um, what my setup is to kill um, the bombardier beetle, the stink bugs, and the wolf spiders right now. Also some of the weavers, since like I said I'm long range so close combat isn't my, my talent. So I have, a, I have kind of some traps set up and I want to show them to you. So anyway, so here I am still hunting after these water fleas like a little donkey, all clumsying around. All right, so yeah, I'm just looking to see if I find some more of those water fleas. And then, uh, you know, you have to constantly reorient yourself too, so. So yeah, I'm just checking my inventory. Getting rid of some stuff that I don't need. See, there's another cluster of them, so they seem to kind of hang out together. And then here I started just sticking my spear into the locally grown grass and got tired of that, so just gave up. <laughs> I decided I had enough for now. So then I started making my way back to home base. So I got about five in my inbox. That's the the little white dotted fluffy thingies there with the eyeballs. Those are the water flea meat pieces. And this is the blueberry bushes. So here's my home base. Um, I'm gonna make our way to the smoothie maker and add all our ingredients. So this is the water flea meat. We will need clover leaves and then the um, fiber. And I realized I didn't have that on me yet, so I had to go grab that real quick. And then we're gonna make a smoothie. And see, it's blue, so that's the difference in color. Um, so here we are at the pond now. Uh, this is the main house back there. I'm standing under the maple tree. Just kind of show you where I'm at. Um, 
and we're about to go and check out that frisbee so this is actually where i have a question for you i am trying to find a secret entrance to maybe some area that's in the water or underwater and that's why i wanted to dive to the frisbee to begin with so i'm about to go ahead and um, take that liquid gills now right there can't waste food. now that i'm jumping in food. if you can't notice the oxygen bar isn't quite there yet so it seems like the smoothie gives us a few extra seconds for like in terms of how long we can stay on the water and then here my meter goes off telling me that there's some raw science so something has to be down here and i'm just kind of going in a circle trying to figure out if i find some sort of entrance and I don't. And you know, I'm super excited about playing this game, so I totally forget that I'm starting to run out of oxygen now. And here I notice it, try to go up, forget that I have the liquid guild. So I want to check out too if I can take like two in a row, maybe next time. And then I'm dying because now I realized that, oh, let's try this, and it was too late. <laughs> Um, so here I'm just collecting my bag and then I ended up just swimming around the pond looking at all the nooks and crannies over here to see if I end up finding an entrance which I could not so uh, let me know in the comment section below if you found any secret entrance in the pond and where that is because I would really love to check it out um, yeah, and again, thank you for the game developers, or to the game developers, this video game has just been amazing. I have been playing this non-stop, can't stop. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I love that you have both, you know, you have chill parts, and then you have exciting parts. You can just do whatever you want. You can build your base camp, or you can go out and explore, and you can be a warrior if you want to. I love it. Absolutely amazing game. Thank you so much. See you next time.